and uh, the Siama is going to give us a song. And after the song, we, the person that is going to minister to us is not um, not anybody than our own pastor, our conference, former conference secretary, and our current Southwestern Union Conference Executive Secretary. So after the song, we will hear Pastor Brooks and his family blessing us tonight. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Peace it out. is a privilege to be with the DFW Ghanaian congregation one more time. And all those who are joining us, uh, visiting with us this evening, it is a privilege. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so glad to be in the number. And then in the morning, I'll actually be able to be at the facility uh, and see all the saints of God as we gather uh, for worship on this Sabbath day. Uh, so glad to be with my friend, uh, Pastor Kuma. Uh, we thank God for your ministry of love, uh, for your wife and children, and how you have been a blessing, not only to the DFW Ghanaian church, but to, but to this entire area and region. And we just thank God for you. And we know that God will be using you for even greater things as we get closer to Jesus' return. Um, the, the, I, I really enjoyed hearing the children tonight. I wouldn't mind hearing them again. Uh, that, that was wonderful. That was a blessing. That's a jewel. Amen. If you will, would you kindly turn with me over to the gospel according to Luke? Take a look at the fifth chapter. And I just want to read in your hearing verses 1 through 11. The gospel of Luke chapter 5 verses 1 through 11. <coughs> <coughs> And the word of God read, so it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God, that he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake. Uh, but the fishermen 
had gone from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitudes from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, Recording in progress. at Nevertheless, uh, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish. And their net was breaking. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus's knees saying, <coughs> depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. So when they had brought their boats to land, they forsook all and followed him. For the next few moments, we want to entertain the thought entitled, let down your nets, let down your nets. Let us pray. Dear Father, at this moment, <coughs> at this time in this place, we are standing in need of hearing a word from you. Speak to our hearts, Lord. Bless us that our minds and ears and heart will be open for what the Spirit has to say to the church. Please, Lord, show us your power and salvation. Grant us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding for these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> We all know that Jesus were well, many things. He's our God, our savior. He's our example. Uh, he's a healer. He's a deliverer. He's an encourager. He lifts us up. He, he, he gives us strength when we are weakened. But one thing we need to also remember, Jesus was a preacher. Jesus was such a preacher that people were thrown to see him and hear him. They were touched by his words. They were moved and motivated uh, to do better, to live better. Uh, as he preached, eyes were opened and minds all of a sudden uh, became um, clear. Uh, they were able to take the things that they have heard and read in the Bible in pieces like a puzzle, all of a sudden was coming together. Oh my, oh my, Jesus was a preacher. And as the Bible tells us, he stepped into a boat and had them to back away from the shore just a little. And he was able to preach to the multitudes and, and, and I'm so thankful uh, that we see the example of the preaching of Jesus, because we see what preaching is supposed to do as it challenges people to live better, as it rebukes sin and encourages righteousness, 
as the word of God becomes clearer uh, when we were uh, confused and tossed about by error, we thank God for that example. But not only was Jesus a preacher, and not only is he a preacher, but Jesus is also calling men and women away from a life of sin, away from darkness. He's calling men and women to a better way. He has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. I'm so thankful that Jesus has called us from sin. I'm so thankful that he has called me from uh, a life of just being buffeted to and fro, uh, a life of being carried by every wind of doctrine, a life of when you just wandering like a nomad, not knowing where to go, or when to be there and where to be. I'm so thankful that Jesus not only preaches, but he calls us and challenges us and appeals to our hearts and minds, and he redirects us. I just want to thank God this evening for Jesus. I want to thank him for Jesus. But then the Bible says here in Luke chapter 5 uh, that Jesus stepped into Simon Peter's boat while the but while the fishermen, Simon, Peter, Andrew, James, and John was washing their nets. And the Bible says here in Luke chapter 5, he says something very interesting to Simon Peter that he is saying to us this evening at the DFW Ghanaian church. The Bible says in Luke 5, 4, he said, when he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. My Christian friends, this right here is the, is the secret. This right here are the steps. This right here is the progression to transitioning from being a pure member to being a soul winner. This right here, my Christian friend, are the steps, the keys, the progression from moving from being just another body in the building to being a servant, a worker, a fisherman for Jesus. He said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. I want to challenge the DFW Ghanaian congregation to memorize what Jesus told Simon Peter and to hear his words as though he is telling you as an individual to launch out into the deep, let down your nets and you will experience a catch. But, but when Jesus told Simon, do you remember Simon's response? In verse five, he replied, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. This is interesting, my friends. Jesus told Simon, and also in 2021, he's telling us, that we need to launch out into the deep and let down our nets for a catch. But Simon's response is that we have been working. We have been toiling. We have been trying to catch fish all night long, and we have nothing to show for it. We have already tried to fish here before, and we don't have anything. Oh, my Christian friends, uh, many of us make these same excuses when Jesus tells us to go and fish. We'll say that the fish in this neighborhood are hard. We'll say that the members have messed up the fishing in this community. 
We will make excuses like, I know more about fishing than you know. Uh, so, so, so I'm going to do it my way. But the, but the truth of the matter is they caught nothing doing it their way. But now when Jesus told them to let down their nets, it was the most inopportune time to do so. It was during the middle of the day in the Sea of Galilee, in the lake, the fishermen, uh, they would let their nets down at night because in the clear water, the fish can see these large, clearly visible nets, and they would just swim around them and avoid them. But some of us would not have let our nets down when Jesus says so, not only because we have been unsuccessful in times past, but also we would have been concerned and worried about what the other fishermen might say about us. We were fearful that we may look illegitimate, fearful that we would appear to be unprofessional. Why would anybody be letting these big old nets down in the middle of the day and call themselves a fisherman? The redeeming statement, however, was Peter said, nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Praise the Lord. Even though Peter said, I don't understand it. Even though he made it clear, it does not make sense for me, to me. Even though he already told Jesus, we tried this this already and it did not work we have been up all night long and we have called nothing we're tired we're weary we are stressed out we are frustrated may even be angry because we have nothing to show for our work but peter had enough sense to say jesus nevertheless just because you said it i'm gonna let the nets down Oh, my Christian friends, we need to come to the point in our lives that whatever God says, even though we don't understand it, even though it does not make sense to us, just do it. Is that not what Mary, Jesus' mother, told the people in John chapter 2, verse 5? You remember there when Jesus showed up at a wedding feast. You remember at the feast, they had everything planned out well, but for whatever reason, they ran out of the wine. And now it was time to serve the head table where the dignitaries were sitting. And there was no wine. Mary was told that they're out of wine. They didn't know what to do. She pointed them to Jesus and she gave them one simple instruction. John 2 verse 5, whatsoever he says unto you, do it. And that's my encouragement to the DFW congregation this evening. Whatever Jesus says, do it. And, 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 and if he says, let down your neck, However, whenever, you just do it. Because when you are doing what he says, it is his responsibility to bring about a successful outcome. God does not need to explain anything to you and me. We just need to do what God said. And then, my friends, they let down the net. Peter did what Jesus said. And according to the word of God, they had the catch of a lifetime. They had so many fish that the nets was full. They had so many fish that the boat was full. They had so many fish, they had to bring John and, 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 and James' boat, and the other boat was full. These experienced fishermen were out working all night long and could not seem to catch many fish. 
But after cooperating with Jesus, they had the success of their wildest dreams. In fact, their success exceeded their dreams. Now Peter could see Jesus for who he is. And he was able to see himself in a contrast for whom he was. And when you get a glimpse of Jesus and you are finally able to see Jesus for yourself, you will say as Isaiah did, woe is me for I am undone. Oh, my Christian friends, when you see Jesus, and you able to see the contrast of Jesus compared to us, we automatically see how lofty, holy, and righteous he is. And in the midst of his righteousness, we can't help but see how far we are from God's ideal. So Simon Peter, without a prepared statement, he couldn't help but testify to Jesus, depart from me, for I am a sinful man. In other words, I am not worthy to be in your presence. It's interesting, my friends, as we look at the synoptic gospels and we review this narrative, that Peter even though he was bowing down at Jesus' knees, asking Jesus to depart from him, but at the same time, he was holding on to Jesus so Jesus would not depart from him. Oh, my Christian friends, Peter, Simon Peter was able to see in the light of Jesus that Jesus is holy and we are unholy. We do not warrant his gifts, his kindness. We do not warrant all, the, all his blessings, nor do we warrant, or nor are we, nor are we worthy for his assignment to be spokesmen on his behalf. Nor are we worthy to be his royal ambassadors. So Simon Peter said, Jesus, you are depart from me, for you are so holy and I am so sinful. He said to Jesus, I am a sinful man. I'm not worthy to be in your presence. Jesus told them, fear not. From henceforth, Thou shalt catch men. Oh, my Christian friends, I want to tell somebody that's viewing this service this evening. It doesn't matter what you're involved in. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter how far you have wandered away from God. It doesn't matter how much you have disappointed your family. It doesn't matter how much you have disappointed the church. It doesn't matter how much you have disappointed God. If you are willing to cooperate with Jesus right now, if you are willing to follow him, if you are willing to serve him, no matter how sinful you may be, Jesus is telling you tonight to, to just let down your nets for a catch. Jesus told them, Fear not. I know your situation. I know you're a sinner, man. I know that you are not worthy. But even though from henceforth, thou shalt catch men. Oh, my Christian friends, Jesus is calling on you and me, irregardless of our situation or circumstances, to get up from where we are and follow him. And as we follow him, as we cooperate with him, and as we take advantage of every opportunity to let down our net 
and be a spokesman for him, two things will take place. People will be drawn to us because of our proximity to Jesus. And the second thing is we will be drawn nearer to Jesus and we will strongly and stronger in the progression of sanctification to appear even more like him as we continue to walk with him, talk with him, live with him, serve him, and be ambassadors and witnesses for him. So in conclusion, my friends, I'm here to encourage you tonight to launch out into the deep, get out of your comfort zone, Go out there in communities that we may not have experience in. Go to places and, 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 and initiate conversations and relationships with people who we would not naturally associate with. Launch out into the deep, way out in the, in the shark-infested waters of Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Launch out into the deep where it may not be easy, but go out there anyway as an ambassador for Jesus. And when you get out there, let down your nets for a catch. For a catch. You will have a catch. You will have a catch. People will be drawn to Christ. If we just let the nest down, the songwriter said, hark the voice of Jesus calling who will go and work today. Fields are white and harvest waiting who will bear the cheeves away. Loud and long the master calling rich rewards he offer free who will answer gladly saying, here am I. Oh, Lord, send me. If you cannot cross the ocean and the heathen land explore, you can find the heathen nearer. You can help them at your door. If you cannot speak like angels, if you cannot preach like Paul, you can tell the love of Jesus. You can say, he died for all. Man. The songwriter said, go preach my gospel, saith the Lord. Bid the whole world my grace receive. He shall be saved who trust my word, and they condemned who disbelieve. Another songwriter said, go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Another hymn writer said, let down your nets, my Christian friends, and go and tell it. Tell it on the mountains, over the hills, and everywhere. Just go tell it on the mountains. For Jesus Christ is born. So my friends, I want to encourage somebody. I want to challenge somebody this evening. Wherever you are, let down your nets. Because the gospel of Christ is the power of God unto salvation. Let down your nets. Because God told Isaiah that my word will not return unto me void. Let down your nets. Because Jesus said, if you confess me before men, I will confess you before my father. Let down your nets because Jesus also said that ye shall be my witnesses. Let down your nets this evening because a eunuch said, how can I know except someone should guide me? Let down your nets to your friends and your family. Let down your nets in season and out of season. After letting down the nets, Peter saw 3,000 baptized in one day. After the nets were let down, Paul said, the world had been turned upside down. Oh, my friends, I want to tell somebody, if they laugh at me, 
I'm going to keep on letting the nets down. If they talk about me, I'm going to keep on letting down my nets. If they run my name in the mud, call me everything but a child of God. I'm going to let the nets down anyhow. You see, my friends, I am on the battlefield for the Lord. And I have promised him that I will serve him until the day I die. And one day, when my work on earth is over, and one day, when I can lay my burdens down, and one day, when I won't have to study war no more, I'll be able to hear this from the master fisherman, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He will say to me those words that will bring joy to my heart and thrill the hearts of all those who love him. He will say, well done, that good and faithful servant. In the little things, faithful in the little assignment that I gave you to fish for men, now you shall be rulers over much. Enter into the joy of our Lord. Oh, my friends, I just want to encourage somebody this evening to commit or reaffirm your faith in Jesus, to follow him, to obey him, and be a fisherman for him, and launch out into the deep, let down your net, and I promise you, you will catch souls for Jesus. God bless you and God keep you. Amen. 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 Pastor Bruce, thank you so much for this beautiful uh, message from the Lord. Amen. Uh, God bless you once again. I'm going to ask Edai Siama to, to give us one song. And after the song, Dr. Eboa will uh, lift all the church members into the hands of the Lord. Each and every one can do something for the Lord. We let down the net, the rest will be taken care of by the Almighty God. So after the song, Dr. Ewa will pray and commit each and every one to the hands of the Lord.
us pray. Our gracious Father in heaven, didn't our hearts spare up in us as he gave us your word? Our heavenly Father, we commit your church into your hands. From now on, let this be our battle cry. Because of your word, we will launch up in the deep and attempt to do business in great waters. If we do that, we will then see the glory of the Lord. Thank you for this powerful message. Help us to remember this as long as we live. You will make yourself responsible for the results of our obedience. Thank you this evening. Amen.